All right, time for another math easy solution. Today we're gonna to discuss piecewise functions and what they are. Well, I'll just give you a general example of uh, well, just what piecewise is. Let's say we have um, this is this regular graph. This is x. This is y. And then let's say here is a, just a random curve here. And this one is a circle there. And this let's say is a. And then it breaks up to here. So. So as you can see, yeah, this is piecewise, meaning that when uh, this is for, this is for, let's say, x is less than a, there's an n equal sign, so there's a circle here, I'll show you what, um, see this uh, filled in circle vs this one here versus not filled in, so you got this and then versus this, I'll show you what that is in a bit, and then here is x is greater than, than a. Uh, this circled one, it just means that at let's say at x equals a f of a or y of a or whatever uh, it just equals to well it equals to whatever this is so whatever this point is so as you can see here when a equals x so that's why this equal sign is there and there isn't one here it, it's not it, we use this curve and not this one so basically all we're doing is breaking it up into two curves. So um, let's go, uh, I'll show you an example. Let's go with, um, let's go an example curve. I'll draw one. Okay, yeah, so let's just uh, say we have f of x equals two. Well, this is this is basically what we would do. We would break it up into two parts like this. Uh, this is just a, another example. One minus x. This is if x is less than equal to one. And it equals to x squared if x is greater than 1. So all we're doing is, is using two equations. This is a piecewise. This is an example of a piecewise function. And if we were to graph it, we would have something like this. This is uh, y or f of x. doesn't matter what you use. And this is just x. So then this 1 minus x, if you saw my other video on how to draw a line, it's basically, uh, this is how it looks like. This would just be 1 minus x. This would be 1 at 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. And then when x is 0, it's 1. So it kind of goes here. So this is for less than. It's just a straight line across like that. And this x squared, so when x is greater than 1. So this is for, we use the first equation, 1 minus x. And then for here, we got to use the x squared. So at 1, uh, x squared is 1. So this is just one, and then it will just be here. But it's a it's a f uh, not a filled circle, just a circle with nothing inside, because uh, it's defined here. So it, when when it's equal to one, we have to use this equation, and then this one would just be a parabola up like that. So that's a, an example of that one. Now we'll do another um, example. Um, another example is the absolute value. So y equals um, let's say this. So my other video I showed what the absolute value is, and this is also a piecewise function. Because uh, if you were to graph this one, if you were to graph it, it's just basically, it's always positive. So then for less than zero, this is, uh, it's just going to be x. This is going to be negative x for no less than zero. And for greater than x, this is going to be x. So this one you would write it as, and my other video shows it, it would be negative x for x is less than, less than zero. And it's just going to be equal to x if x is greater than or equal to zero. So that's uh, another piecewise function. And this is, uh, let's go x, this is y. Okay, so uh, let's go with another example here. I'll, I'll draw one out and then uh, we will uh, find the equation of it through the drawing. Let's say we have something like this. Let's draw a straight line down. Okay, let's say this is x. Let's say it starts off like this. It just let's say this is one, so we have a thing here one, and it goes up in a straight line. This is uh, two, and then it goes down here. Uh, this is let's go here is one, and this is two, and then from here it just goes straight for infinity to infinity. So this is the equation. This is let's say this is x. So to solve this, this whole thing is f of x. Well, we have to look at it in every time it the slope changes. 
So, so we have to look look at where the slope uh, breaks. And then uh, so we look at where it breaks and then and then we use that to um, separate into separate equations. So we do that and then we then we would look at let's say the first part. Let's go f of x. So from this equation it's not defined for anything less than 0. For less than 0 uh let's say less than 0 we didn't define it. So it's not defined. So we would just ignore for less than 0. So then we would look from uh, 1 to to 2. So we would go so it'd be another equation like this. So then if so we'll just write it here if uh, let's say x is let's say greater than I'll just rewrite this one. Okay, so let's say x is greater than um, let's say this is zero here, greater than or equal to zero and less than and less than one. Let's go to one. Uh, we could have an equal sign doesn't matter because it it doesn't really break apart anywhere. So okay, so we have the, and this equation is just um, f if you looked at my other one uh, equation of a line uh, video, you'll you'll know that this is just the slope here is just one. One over a rise over a run is uh, just one. There's a between here is one, and this is one. So rise over a run that's a slope, and then the equation is just going to be one plus x. So we're going to have the one plus x if if uh, x is between zero and one, and then from here it goes down, and if you know this is uh if it kind of if you to draw it quickly, you would know that this is uh, 3. This would be the y-intercept of this equation if it extended beyond that. So then this would just be, just uh, the slope here is negative 1 because it just goes down to the same thing as this, but negative 1. So we'll just go um, 3 minus x. That's the equation of the second line. And that's if, so if x is greater than or equal to, so every time we have this, it doesn't, we don't have an equal sign there. We ha have one here. Because it ha we need the to define when x is one. Okay, so x is and then this is less than uh, two. And as you can see, if you put a two here, you get a one. Three minus two is one. If you put a one here, we get three minus one is two, and that's that's correct. And then the last one is just a straight line, so it slope is zero. And then you can see that this one is just going to be zero or not zero. Uh, this one's just equal to one. So for and then it just equals to one if I don't know, x is greater than or equal to two. So that's what it's defined for. It goes to infinity. We didn't define it less than zero, so we don't need to include it in the equation. Well, that's basically piecewise uh, fun function. So basically, you look at where the slope breaks or where the values jump. So this one, the values jump and the slope slope changed. And yeah, likewise, this one is um, the slope changes here from it goes to negative one to one. So yeah, that's basically piecewise functions, and uh, hopefully you learned. And um, yep, stay tuned for another math easy solution.